Hello everyone, and good morning to each and every one of you. And welcome to season three of Christ Over Coffee. My name is Andrew Dixon, and I would like to welcome you to this very, very special season premiere entitled Celebrate Change. Now, as I put my cup down for a moment, I just want to take some time today to introduce you to the new format of the show. As some of you know that follow us faithfully, whether it be on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, um, we recorded our last episode of season two, I believe late November, early December last year. And we closed out the season a little early because we needed to take a step back and reevaluate how the show was going, how the flow was going, take into consideration some of the feedback we had received over the past two years. And what we have found is that through much prayer and seeking counsel from other uh, creative people and spaces, we've decided to take your feedback into suggestion. And one of those things was um, the, the timing, right? We have some of our episodes are usually around 20 minutes. And so what we wanted to do was see if we could reduce that time to around 10 minutes. The reason for this is because due to the change in technology and how social media algorithms work, the, the shorter frame videos and such, they get more traction. And with the implementation of Instagram Reels, uh, we have an opportunity to share the gospel and share the message of SSPS to a broader audience if we stay within certain criteria and guidelines. So in order for us to really do this, uh, we still, since Rosalia and I are going to co-host the show, however, you will only see one of us per episode. So with this being the season premiere, it's a good time to celebrate change. It's not, change isn't always a bad thing, right? In this particular case, we get to take a step back and really look at the, the progression of the show, how things are going, the fact that we can even say that we're in season three, right? It's so exciting. But we also need to take criticism and feedback into account prayerfully and see where we can implement some of these things to make your experience much better and even more fruitful. For our guests who will be on the broadcast, we will be limiting the questions from three questions to about one to two because this will challenge us to ask more engaging questions and it also helps us stay within that time frame. Uh, it's, it's so important. And even we're going to be changing the, the date in which the episodes are shown. And so instead of waiting until um, Saturday to produce the episodes, we're going to go back to our Friday schedule. Uh, same time, 9 a.m., but on Fridays. Um, it's, it's a good opportunity for us to just make the appropriate edits to some things and hopefully this will make for an even better program. It's so wonderful to be in front of you each and every month and we hope to further implement our imprint initiative where we're challenging ourselves in 2023 and encouraging you to make an imprint on the lives of your family, your friends, and your community. And we want to see what you're doing as far as making that imprint in people's lives. And so if you have any photos, maybe you're going and helping out at a soup kitchen, or you're involved in your church ministry's food pantry program, or you're involved in 
uh, drug rehabilitation programs, anything that you're doing that's for the kingdom of God, we want to know about it so that we can share with a broader audience what you're doing. And who knows, that could also open up the doors for an interview as well. And so please visit our website today, www.sps-usa.org. If you want to get in contact with us and learn how you can be a part of what the Holy Spirit Missionary Sisters are doing, or if you feel the calling of God on your life towards missions, we want to encourage you to give us a call also today at 847-441-0126. Please continue to follow us also on social media. All of our places where you can find us are below. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And we would love for you to visit us at all three. Share what you found. Spread that encouragement around. It definitely helps us reach a broader audience because we want to encourage people in their faith journey as well as their ministry. And as I take a close today, I want to leave you with a bit of encouragement if I may. We celebrate change today, but we're also celebrating change this month. This month is something that's very close, near and dear to my heart and it's Black History Month. And it's a time for us to take some time and reflect on not just the history of what has happened to the African-American community within the United States, um, the history of the nation, right? It gives us a time to celebrate that even in the midst of those struggles, how we've overcome as a people and the many changes that we have contributed to the global society. And so today, if you have time, stop by your local library or click on Google and just search for Black History Month, people that have made contributions and learn about these very famous people and the things that they've done and the wonderful contributions that they've made to your life and my life. It's important to celebrate the many efforts that so many African Americans have made that have promoted change within the global society. And don't just stop there. Look at yourself after you've done your research and reading and ask God in prayer what you can do to be an agent of change in your society, in your community, in your family, at your job, with your friends, wherever you are, wherever you go, you can make an imprint in somebody's life. And so with that being said, I want to welcome you to season three. And we hope that you would follow us here on social media as we continue to produce episodes this season that we hope will encourage you and your loved ones. And until next time, remember, we're going to be walking this life one sip at a time. As always, thank you for joining us. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you for your feedback. Have a wonderful and blessed weekend. Bye-bye.